so uh, Wolfie tried to sniff Lisa's butt and she didn't allow him so I said let's today make a, a history of our road and we will already start here at Celoska with this building, a large building so this uh, building is still now as Slovenia Auto so Slovenia Auto for the Friedna Jo bog mi to malo pa dej nehi no, tog bi se tepo tog bi se tepo um, so yeah, um, it was you know a company dealing with all things cars, and as you can see, it's still named Stoy Lizzy. Stoy. It is still on the door, and the whole building was from the company and from you know this, all this in the ground floor, all this was one uh, large um, retail store so if you needed a spare car parts you know you had to come here but now as you can see of course uh, and of course you could order cars here you, there was basically not a, a car salon you know exhibit place but just you know a uh, regular store with a large warehouse of car parts and now of course we have a uh, DM unique credit bank and all day bakery non-stop bakery so we will uh, basically went along so you know this part of the little Stryska road and show you what has happened since or changed since I was a kid not pretty easy Let's go across another doggo, Tuki Lizzy. So, um, as far as I can recall, this um, let's say studio was always here. So they pro, they have you know like yoga classes, courses. Um, I remember as a kid they had you know yoga with your toddler, yoga with your um, infant, and so forth. Basically, you know. Uh, let's say well-being studio so majority of you know the road is residential so you know apartment buildings and one house on this and you can as you can see empty store when i was a kid this was a fruit and veg store and it was for a long time since i remember well for a, as long as i remember but that I don't think think what let me think um, 15 20 years ago it went bust and then it was um, um, clothing store but it also went bust so now okay we will we have it from um, the back so you know newsstand a kiosk but when I was Lizzie Stoy when I was a kid there was additional kiosk here for our lottery so it was, uh, this is, you know, um, large and that was basically half of the size of this one, Pridna. And then it was removed, Lizzy, touch, never let you know, a lottery um, stand basically moved in the Slovenia auto, basically on the left there is a small uh, store 
but they also went bust a couple of years ago. I think at the, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, epidemic, because you know people couldn't go there and people started using started using the you no know, web to purchase the lottery needs and that that um, glass whole glass um, you know wall there used to be uh, butchers here and yeah I think I was in the gymnasium when it shut down then the butcher uh, basically relocated to the Mercator store on the other side of the intersection he worked there I believe until the, his uh, pension started to kick in and he then left ok, so this so this is this building it's known as Samski Dom well, it used to be known as the Samski Dom, basically bachelor's house, and it was for single workers from the Litostroy factory, which is down the road. And now here you have um, Zofa bar, but when I was a kid, there were actually two spaces separated. On the left, it was a small convenience store, and on the right, it was a bar. But yeah, small convenience store where we bust. And you can wonder why, but you know, there is a large convenience store on the other side of the road. There was, you know, a butcher's, there was a fruit and veg. And as you will come a little bit further, there is another convenience store which still exists. And here is a, I think that you can figure it out, hair salon. And, and it has been here for as long as I know. And as I said, we have another convenience store once again from the Mercator chain, which is, you know, also across the intersection. But while th that is, uh, that one is, you know, opened, I think from seven to 10 or nine now, this is, you know, doesn't have, isn't open for so long. And she's once again eyeing another dog. Pretty Lizzie. Okay, this is not, let's, well, it's still part of this street, I believe. Road. So, you know, that little one floor uh, building. So now you have a restaurant or a grill and bar, as you can see. On the left and on the right, there are offices for some societies basically it's so uh, I believe it uh, the whole building is um, owned by the municipality and they basically rent half of the space for the restaurant and the half for the municipal uh, for societies and I think also the also there is a office for the neighborhood um, office let's say but when i was a kid there was another convenience store there so as you can imagine we had a lot of smaller stores and once again i managed to stop recording without pressing the recording so as you can imagine we had um what one two smaller convenience store a fruit and veg a butchers and a large convenience store which is of course across but you know in the walking distance pretty easy 
he's the ones to go home but we haven't been not even an hour outside so she can walk and, but we will be basically finished and as you can see another hair salon and this was also here for as long as I know it used to be part of a chain but then this uh, lady went solo she basically I don't know bought off the chain now she is on her own and this TV clinic was also here for a long time and still it's an operation basically appliances mainly of course TV and screens so yeah um, okay Lisa wants to go across so we will go across but um, I can you know you see the bus stop a little bit further along the road so when I was a kid there used to be another new stand there and it was there until I think I was in gymnasium and then went bust easy and on the other side of the intersection on that little bit corner a knock a nuke knock knock nuke knock a uh, small space between the road, the the parking lot and the uh, train tracks there was a third new stand and yeah they were both gone, well the third one I think it was uh, it was removed I think five years ago so yeah Okay, and this is it, a small history of our road. Okay, we can have one more history recollection while we are going back towards our house. So basically here, you know, nothing changed. Residents changed, of course. But there was one, another store that doesn't exist anymore and we will show you in a little bit i will stop recording now here so basically i stopped recording there and we are here so on this corner of the building you can still see where there was an entrance you know the darker spot so basically here when i was kid once more there was a small as you can see not a large place not a large store it was um, how you would say specialized convenience store for your household needs so paints brushes um, different you know um, glues um, also um, plaster, cement, um, what else, um, you know, detergents, soaps and whatever, basically, you could get it there, plus they also had, you know, for kids, you know, one um, ice chest, ice freezer of ice cream, so, I was, let's say, very regular customer because it was the nearest store and they had the ice cream that I like. Especially, um, they had, when I was in elementary school, I was very fond of some uh, water-based ice cream, you know, flavor, flavored water and then froze, free, fr frozen. So, yeah. And that's it.